In this video, we will be studying about the stocks and flaws in the economy. Now, what is stock? See, when anything you measure at a particular point of time. So, a stock is a quantity measured at a particular point of time which means if you go to a bank and you see on 1st April 2017 you have rupees 30,000 as your bank balance and then you go on 1 June 2017 and you see that you have 20,000 as your bank balance. So this is actually the stock. You are measuring a quantity on a particular point of time at this point it is 30,000 and this point it is 20,000 so this is the stock now what is flow a flow is a quantity measured over a specific period of time let's say you deposit rupees 1000 per month which means you are flowing money in your bank so this is the flow that you calculate in the economy now let's see and understand which are your stocks and which are your flows. See your wealth. After two years, how much have you saved in your, how much is there in your bank account? Is your wealth. And every month you get the income, let's say of rupees 20,000, that is your flow. So this is the first example you can give. The second example is your labor force that on this day a date i have these many labors in my company but to labor you have to keep on giving some uh, wages so expenditure of money is your flow third we can say is that capital is your stock and if you do some kind of investment that is capital formation that becomes your flow your bank deposits are your stock but your interest on capital is your flow right so, these are these few examples through which you can exp uh, understand what are your stocks and what are your flaws. Now let's understand this in one more form. You are depositing rupees 1000 per month in bank. So this is your somewhere bank. So in bank, you have, let's say in your savings bank account, after let's say t uh, 10 months, you have on first, let's say 12, 2017, you have 10,000 in your bank account. Right? And you keep on withdrawing
rupees five hundred per month. Right. So let's understand this is your flow because this is going continuously into it. This your bank is storing. So this is your stock. And again your money is flowing out. So again this is your flow. So this is how the concept of stock and flow is there in the economy. I hope you have completely understood this. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.